Hello, it's Sarah again here, the Chief Executive here at the Trust, and I wanted to do another update to let you know where we've got to with the cultural conversations that we started in September. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you. Nearly 700 staff have logged on and taken part in the conversation, and we've had over 3,000 contributions, which is absolutely fantastic when I know that you've all got a huge amount to do every day um, and I also know at the moment we're really encouraging as many of you as possible to do our staff survey so um, I don't want the the work we're doing around our culture collaborative to be seen as an alternative to the staff survey because that's really important information for us as well so please do take the time to do both uh, sorry I just wanted to get a plug in there for that at the same time so having read all of the feedback that you gave as part of those online conversations and some of the discussions that then generated there's a real strong overwhelming message that I took from you um, and that's about the importance of what we do to look after you, our staff, and value everything that you do, um, and importantly, give you the right tools, resources, but also support every day uh, so that you can be your best possible selves. And that's my primary responsibility, because if I can make sure that we get it right for you, uh, then you have the very important job of doing that to look after other people on our behalf. So we were going to come back out in the second part of this conversation uh, to start to look at actions and you know that we're also planning the face-to-face -face conversations in the new year for those of you that don't feel comfortable using online platforms. So we're still going to do that but we're going to change the next round of questions. It's really important that because we've got such a wide variety of experiences from those that are fed back um, that we actually pause and we, we check back in with you. So we've used the information and we're going to pose a series of kind of questions or statements of what we think that you're telling us. And that's going to be the basis of the next online conversation. So we want you to all log back in. And if you didn't log in the first time, please do the second time. It's not a, an either or. Please, as many people, log in as possible. And give us your views on have we heard you correctly? Have we understood what you're telling us? And have we therefore formed the right assumptions or judgments about where we need to focus our efforts to improve the experiences for you being part of this organisation. Once we've done that, then we'll start to look at what does that mean in terms of next steps? What's the stuff that we should keep doing and what's the stuff that we should stop doing and what are the things that we need to do differently? When I did the first video, I always said this was never going to be a rush. It's really important that we get it right, which is why I think it's really important that we do these next conversations a bit differently. So I hope that's really clear. Again, thank you for everyone who's already took part. Please, let's see if we can get more of you taking part in the next part of the conversation, and we'll keep you updated as that progresses. Thank you.